Hey everyone, happy first Friday of Lent. My name is Kevin, welcome to Verbum Day, where I am honored to share with you my ponderings and thoughts on today's gospel. Since it's the first Friday in Lent, that lands us in Matthew 9, verses 14 and 15. Very short gospel, but a lot going on. And here's what it says. Then John's disciples came and asked him, How is it that we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not? Jesus answered, How can the guests of the bridegroom mourn while he is with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them, then they will fast. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, two verses, that's it. I got over a page full of notes. All right, so first and foremost, this is the first time Jesus even alludes to his passion and death and, you know, eventual resurrection. Um, And what's interesting is Jesus responds to his cousin's um, um, disciples with a parable. In the parable, he makes three comparisons. First, he says he's the bridegroom, okay? Second, he says that his uh, disciples are guests of the wedding. Stop right there. In Greek, that phrase is sons of the bride chamber, which basically means groomsmen. So it's not just guests, like this is the OG wedding party, right? And then lastly, he says, um, he alludes that the wedding day will be what? His passion, right? He it will be when he dies on the cross. So couple of thoughts and we'll get on our way. Um, so why aren't they fasting? Well, um, pre-gaming a wedding is not the time that uh, groomsmen are usually fasting with their best friend, the bride's groom, right? Um, now, also something I found out in a little bit of research, which I thought was really cool, that even in Jewish tradition, when a bride's groom and the sons of the bride's chamber, when it was the wedding week, they were excused um, from all of their religious duties and obligations and observations. Check this out, including fasting. So he's saying clearly, why would we be why would we be uh, fasting at a wedding. There will be a time for that. Um, Okay, second thought and we'll be done. Jesus said we would fast when he was taken, right? That's what it says right there in verse 15. Then they will fast. And so this is the whole point of why we fast on Fridays during Lent, right? Because on Friday, Good Friday, right, our Lord was taken from us, right? And so what we do is we fast. um, Number one, three reasons. Number one, he said we would, so we do, right? So remember my policy is that anytime anybody can predict their own death, burial, resurrection, and pull it off, we're probably going to do what they should say to do, right? So number one, we fast because Jesus said we would right here in Matthew 9. Number two, um, we fast to remember. So every time you want a steak and instead You have to suffer with crawfish. Just remember the suffering of our Lord. (laughs) No, but but seriously, um, especially in fasting, not necessarily abstaining, um, that's why I am trying to get to become a regular faster. And I mean, what does that mean? I was thinking like once Lent was over, I was probably going to start fasting once a week. Uh, sundown to sundown or whatever that looks like. I was going to read up on it and see just once a week, right? And then next Lent, what I could do is like fast, intensify that and fast twice a week. And then every time my belly growls, every time I want to be frustrated or gosh, how amazing are those Snickers commercials? Every time I want to get hangry, right? And my little, my inner Joe Pesci comes out. Um, I then pray. And I then remember the suffering of Jesus. So we do it because Jesus said, um, we do it to remember, to remember, to remember, right? That's why we Eucharist. That's why we have the commandments. Everything we do um, is to remember, but also this is what I love about our faith, to participate in. It's not just a remembrance. It's to participate in. So this fasting, like I said 
earlier, or yesterday, excuse me, we're dying to ourselves. We're dying to our flesh. We're dying to our pleasures, right? Our power, what we really want. We're saying no to that. And I'm not comparing it. It's minuscule. It's not even a fraction. It's laughable. But, but it is, it is uniting with Jesus in his death. That's why we do it, right? So we fast on Fridays because our Lord was taken on Friday, because he said we would do it, right? Because we're here to remember, and most importantly, I think, is to be united with him in death. Um, so that, so that we can be united with him in resurrection. Come on, somebody. That, like, I, man, I should have all my Pentecostal friends being like, glory, hallelujah, right there. Remember that today's Friday, but Sunday's coming, right? So to sin and death isn't the end of the story. The resurrection is. That's my dogs. I don't know if it's the trash or my son, but I'm going to get out of here. So happy fasting. Don't eat meat today. Grace and peace be with you.